welcome to the third lecture of week 2 and here we are discussing design of heads. In lecture 1 and lecture 2 we have covered the theory part related to this and in this lecture we will discuss a few examples to make you understand how design of different types of heads will be carried out. So, let us start with example 1. In example 1, a process vessel is to be operated at maximum operating pressure of 2 mega Newton per meter square gauge. Vessel has diameter of 3 meter and length of 5 meter. This vessel is made of steel having allowable design stress value of 120 mega Newton per meter square at design temperature. Corrosion allowance is 3 mm and joint efficiency factor as 1. And in this problem, we need to determine the thickness of shell to nearest integer. So, this we have to consider nearest integer. And in second part, we need to determine thickness of flat head having plates welded to the end of the shell, no inside welding. So, in this uh, A and B, we have to design the shell as well as flat head. And in part C, we have to determine the thickness of conical head when apex angle is 120 degree Celsius, no knuckle part is there and we have to find out thickness both at and away from the junction. In the similar line, part 2 is there where apex angle is 100 and here we have psi value which is uh, uh, different than the alpha and here I am having the knuckle part also. So, considering these variation, we will demonstrate how the thickness of conical head will be carried out. Further, in part D, we need to determine the thickness of plate required to fabricate a dished head for the vessel. Specification for the heads are Ri is 1.1 D naught, small Ri 0.07 D naught and SF 70 mm. And finally, we have to determine the blank diameter of plate for forming the dished heads. So, in all these 5 uh, sections, we need to determine different types of heads. So, let us start with part A where we need to find out thickness of shell. Now, to find out thickness of shell, we have to calculate the design pressure. Maximum working pressure in gauge is given as 2 mega Newton per meter square. Design pressure would be 5 percent extra to that. Allowable stress value, J value, corrosion allowance and outer diameter, all these values are known. And uh, here, this is the expression for uh, minimum thickness of uh, shell. P d naught by 2 f j plus p. So, putting all values in this, we can find out 26.022 mm minimum thickness of shell. We will add corrosion allowance into this to get the uh, thickness as 29.022 and as uh, it is mentioned in part A that we need to find out thickness for nearest integer, we can consider 30 mm as next integer value to this. Okay. So, in this way we compute the thickness of shell as we have already demonstrated in fifth lecture of week 1. Further in part B, we have to find out thickness of flat head. So, let us discuss that. So, this is the expression for uh, calculation of thickness of flat head where C, D, E and uh, root over P by F all value we need to extract first. P and F we already know. D, E and C will depend on type of attachment and type of attachment is flat head having plates welded to the end of the shell, no inside welding. So, this type of connection is there where D equal to D i that is inner diameter of uh, shell and C in this case is 0 0.7. So, D e how I can find out that is 3 meter is the outer diameter of shell minus 2 into 30 mm, 30 mm is the thickness of, 30 mm is the standard thickness of shell. So, considering this 2, 2.94 is the value of D e. C value as I have discussed it is 0 0.7. So, T minimum we can find out as 272.248 mm and uh, further 
we will not add any corrosion allowance at T minimum is greater than 30 mm. So, if you remember the terminology lecture that is lecture 4 of week 1, we have discussed that when thickness is greater than 30 mm, we will not add corrosion allowance into this. Therefore, in this case also it will not be added and standard value would be next integer value to this value. So, final thickness for flat head is 273 mm which is quite high. Now, part C I am having where 120 degree apex angle with sharp edge that is no knuckle part uh, is there and we have to find out thickness at and away from the junction. So, at the junction apex angle is 120. So, alpha in that case would be 60. This is the expression to find out the thickness where P is the design pressure, D E is the outer diameter of head, but here you, we can consider this for shell because uh, it will be almost equal. So, we can assume the equality between the two and uh, C we need to find out through table 3.6. For C value, I have to find value of psi and psi would be equal to alpha and which is 60 in this case. Okay. Now, if you focus on this table, this is table 3.6 where psi is given as 60 degree. Okay. And as no knuckle part is there, we have discussed in uh, lecture 2 that if uh, no knuckle part is there then R i by D e should be equal to 0 0.01. So, corresponding to 60 degree we can find out uh, C value as 3.2 as already mentioned over here. So, considering these value we can find out thickness of conical section at the junction and as it is greater than 30 mm we will not add corrosion allowance into this. So, final thickness we can consider as 84 mm. So, in this way we find out the thickness at the junction when no knuckle part is there. Let us continue for the thickness away from the junction. So, thickness away from the junction that can be found out L distance away. So, in this case L would be 0 0.5 root over D E T by cos psi. So, D E is the outer diameter of shell as we have discussed that would be 3 meter and T is the actual thickness at the junction and here we have computed this thickness as 84 mm. So, in this case 0 0.5 root over 3 into 0 0.085 divided by cos 60. So, considering all these value we can find out L as 0 0.354965 meter. Putting this value in uh, expression we can find out value of D k and that would be uh, 2.32583 meter and here in this DK expression this TS will be nothing but the standard thickness of shell which we have found as 30 mm. So, that value we have kept over here. Considering value of DK, P, F, J and alpha we can find out minimum thickness of uh, conical section away from the junction and that comes out as 41.049 mm. Again it is greater than 30 mm, so we will not add corrosion allowance. So, final T in this case will be 45. So, here we can consider the thickness of uh, conical section at the junction and away from the junction. And in next part we will discuss thickness of conical section at the junction and away from the junction when knuckle part will be there. In first part we have not considered any knuckle part. So, in this part 100 uh, degree apex angle is given where R i is 0 0.5 d e when knuckle part will not be there it is uh, 0 0.01 into d e as we have considered in last slide and psi is equal to 25. So, in this case if you consider alpha would be 50 and psi would be 25. So, these both angles are different. Okay. So, 2 alpha is 100, alpha is 50 then R i 0 0.05 d a and psi 25. So, for this combination I have to find out the value of C. Further, if you focus on table 3.6, uh, R i by d e is given as 0 0.05 which is falling between 0 0.04 and 0 0.06. 
okay and psi will be given as 25 which is falling between 20 and 30. So, at the junction uh, we need to find out value of C for a particular combination that is R i by D e 0 0.05 and psi 25. So, for that case we will consider R i by D e as 0 0.04 and value of C at 20 degree psi is 0 0.8 and further if I am having R i by D is 0 0.04 and psi value is 30. So, C in that case would be 1. So, what I am finding is value of C for 0 0.04 and 0 0.06 at psi equal to 25. So, R i by D e 0 0.04 if I am considering and psi I am taking as 25. So, value will lie in between these two. So, that value we can consider as 0.9. Otherwise, if psi value is 28 degree in that case C value can be obtained by interpolation. In this case, it is directly uh, in between or middle value of these two because uh, psi is lying in between 20 and 30. So, psi is 25. So, directly we can take value of C at middle point of 0 0.8 and 1 and then the value of C becomes 0 0.9. Okay. In the similar line, I need to find out C value for R i by D e 0.6 and at 20 degree Celsius. So, that value comes at 0 0.7 and again for 30 degree Celsius it is I need to find value of R i by D e as 0 at 0 0.06. So, at 0 0.06 at 20 degree psi value of C comes as 0 0.7 okay. and at 30 degree we have value of C as 0 0.9. Okay. So, at 0 0.06 and 25 degree value of C I can consider as 0 0.8. So, what I have found value of C here and value of C here. Now, we have to find value of C at 0 0.05. So, that value will be middle point of these two values. So, considering that R i by D e 0.05 and psi 25, we can find C value as 0.85 which is in between this and this. So, in this way we find the value of C and then putting that value of C in this expression, we can compute T as 22.3125 mm. Further, because it is less than 30 mm, we had to add corrosion alloyance. So, here I am getting the value after adding corrosion alloyance. Uh, as 25.3125 and further we have this value T dash that is 26.83 mm. How this 26.83 mm comes? Because I have to add 6 percent in this value. Okay? If you remember the lecture 2, there we have discussed that wherever I am having forming section, I need to add 6 percent extra. Okay. So, that uh, because it is with knuckle at the junction, here I need to add 6 percent extra. So, 1.06 into 25.3125 gives this value that is 26.83 mm and then we can take standard value then this from table B1. So, in this way we calculate the thickness at the junction. Now, for away from the junction we will follow the usual method which we have observed in part which we have observed in previous part. So, away from the junction we will find out L value, we will find out d k and putting all these value in the expression of uh, minimum thickness and then it comes as 37.1715 mm and then we can see standard uh, thickness from table B1 which comes out as 40 mm. Here we have not added any corrosion alloyance not 6 percent extra because away from the junction all part are straight part. So, there is no need to add 6 percent extra. So, in this way we calculate thickness at the junction and away from the junction in conical head when knuckle part is there and when knuckle part is not there. Now, next part of the problem is to determine the thickness of plate required to fabricate 
dished head for the vessel and specifications are R i is given as 1.1 d naught, small r i 0.07 d naught and S f as 70 mm. So, considering this uh, we have r i and uh, we have capital r i and small r i S f value 70 mm I am having and this is the expression to find out thickness of dished head where main uh, concern is about factor c. Okay. Now, if you remember how we can find out factor c for this first of all we need to find out value of H e by d naught. D naught I already know to calculate H e we have three different expression and whatever would be the minimum value among that, that we will select as H e. So, the, uh, to compute three values of uh, H e we assume that R naught is equal to R i which is 3.3 meter because R i is 1.1 d naught. So, that should be 3.3 meter and similarly we will assume small r naught equal to small r i which is equal to 0 0.21 meter. Now, why I am assuming R i is equal to R o? Because thickness of head should be added to R i to calculate R o, but at present I am not finding thickness, I am not having thickness of uh, head and therefore, for uh, computation purpose I am taking that uh, R i and R naught both are equal and further we will resolve that. Considering this we can find out H naught uh, based on uh, this expression which comes out as 0 0.49215 and d o square by 4 r naught square we can compute as uh, 0.681818 and similarly uh, root over d naught r naught by 2 is 0 0.56125. In that way we can find out all 3 value and h e is minimum of above 3 and that should be equal to for h o. So, h here it should be h e. So, h e should be equal to minimum of above 3 and which is uh, we, and which we can find for h naught and which comes out as 0 0.4921538. So, in this way we can find out value of h e. Once I am having value of H e, I can find out H e by d naught as 0 0.164 and I am assuming opening as compensated. Okay. So, in that case I can use uh, values of T by d naught. So, this is the whole expression and if I am having T by d naught, I can uh, have P value, F value and J value. All these values are constant and which gives collectively 8.75 times power minus 3 into C. So, I need to select T by D naught and C uh, corresponding to H e by D naught 0.164 in such a way so that this expression should be satisfied and the corresponding value of C I am getting as 1.85 that I have found through interpolation. And how I can find this? Let us discuss that. To find out that value, I will consider table 4.1a from B. C. Bhattacharya book and here H e by D naught is 0.164. If you consider this table, here I am having H e by D naught 0.15 and 0.2 and T by D naught have different value which is which varies from 0 0.002 to 0 0.04. Okay. So, corresponding to 0.164 value I have to find C factor for all T by D naught values. Okay. So, for example, T by D naught is 0 0.002 corresponding to 0 0.15 value comes as 4.55 and corresponding to 2 value comes as 2.3. So, corresponding to 164 value will lie in between these two and that value we can found through uh, interpolation and that comes out as 3.92. And similarly for 0 0.005 value we can find C value in between these two which comes out as 2.3912 and uh, in the same line we can find value of C corresponding to 0.164 for uh, 
0 0.01, 0.02 and 0 0.04 and these values are uh, summarized or mentioned over here. Now to find out value of C for HE by D naught, I will consider all these values, all these values, okay. Now how I need to compute this? Uh, if I am having T by D naught C as 0 0.00875 that we have already found in the last uh, slide and to start computation I am starting with T by D naught as 0 0.005, okay. So corresponding to T by D naught 0 0.005 C value comes as 2.3912 which is mentioned over here. Considering this C value, we can find out value of this expression T by D naught C as 0 0.00209. Now here you need to see that what I have to found was 0 0.00875 and I am getting very less value than this. It means what? It means that uh, if you consider the expression T by D naught C, C is coming in denominator. So, expression T by D naught C comes as 0 0.00209 and I want to find the value equal to 0 0.00875. What is the meaning of this? That this expression has to increase its value from 0 0.02 to 0 0.00875, okay. How I can increase that value? To reduce the value of C, okay. So, further uh, in which direction I have to move that we can decide while comparing value of T by D naught into C. So, what we can see that now I have to deal with lesser value of C and if you consider this table, what I can observe that as I move towards higher value of T by D naught as I move towards higher value of T by D naught, I am getting lesser value of C. It means I have started from here, so correct direction would be this, not this, okay. So next value of T by D naught I am considering as 0 0.01 and uh, corresponding to this value of C I am getting uh, as uh, value of C I am getting as 1.954 and putting this value in the expression, I am getting T by D naught C as 0 0.005, which is uh, coming close to this, but still it is very far. So further I need to re reduce the value of C and therefore I need to increase the value of T by D naught. So further I am considering T by D naught as 0 0.02, corresponding value of C is 1.7876 and corresponding value of T by D naught C is 0 0.01118, okay. So, what is happening over here that now for T by D naught, whatever value I am getting for T by D naught C, it is increasing than what, whatever I was expected to get. It means further I need to increase the value of C. So, what is the main point over here that when I am having value of T by D naught as 0.01, I am getting lesser value of T by D naught C, but if I am having T by D naught as 0.02, I am getting higher value of T by D naught C. So, exact value of C will lie between T by D naught 0.01 to 0.02. So, next value I am considering as 0.015 and C value I am getting 1.8708 through interpolation and then T by D naught C I am getting as 0 0.008 and further it has to increase. So, T by D naught I am considering as 0 0.016 corresponding value of C 1.85416 through interpolation and further value of T by D naught C is coming as 0 0.0086 which is increased. So, further I need to take another value of T by D naught which is I am taking as 0 0.0162 and finally I can get T by D naught C as 0 0.00875 at C value 1.85. So, this 1.85 I have taken over here and then corresponding value of T I can find as 0 0.04856 
which is 48.56 mm. I have to add 6% extra to this and the value comes as 51.476 and next standard value is coming as 56 mm. So in this way I can find thickness of dished heads. Further you can find out value of C from this graph also which is figure 3.7 in code. Here HE by D naught 0.164 so you can draw a line of 0.164 and then uh, you can you need to choose different value of T by D naught and C in such a way so that it satisfy the expression of T by D naught C as we have explained through table 4.1. Now here further you need to consider that if uh, when we have started the computation of dished head we have assumed that RO should be equal to RI and uh, while assuming this I have considered T should be 0 then only it is possible. So when T equal to uh, 0 RI should be R0 okay and next value of T I am getting as 56. So if difference of these two consecutive value will be greater than 10 mm, I have to repeat the whole calculation. So in this case repetition is uh, required, so for that purpose R0 is considered as Ri plus Ts that is 56 will be added over here and the value comes as 3.356 and similarly small r0 we can find out. So, for revised value of capital R0 and small r0, HO value, this expression value and this expression values are found out and then HE by D0 we can consider as 0.174. Now, HE by D0 corresponding to 0.174, I have to find out value of C which comes out as 1.7 based on the method which I have explained in last slide. So corresponding to C 1.7 you can find out T minimum 44.625, 6 percent will be added to this and then final value would be 50. So previous uh, thickness was 56, now thickness um, is 50, so that difference is less than 10 mm, hence no extra calculation will be required. So final thickness of dist head can be considered as 50 mm. Now here I am having the uh, final part of this example where blank diameter needs to be determined. So since thickness is greater than 25 mm we will use this expression and blank diameter we can find as 3.4014 meter. And here I am having example 2, in this example a vessel is being operated at maximum pressure of 2 mega Newton per meter square, outer diameter 2.5 meter and length is 6 meter uh, we have. Allowable stress and corrosion alloyance are given like this and uh, it is made of class 2 where double welded butt joint with full penetration is used for all joints. What we need to find is thickness of plate used to fabricate the toryspherical head for this vessel. And here we have uh, fully compensated openings, okay. So uh, compensated openings are uh, provided and uh, we need to consider Ri as 1.2 D0 and small Ri as this and uh, I have to carry out only one iteration, okay, so that is part 1. In part B, what is the maximum diameter of uncompensated opening can be made if 2 is to 1 ellipsoidal head of same thickness as computed in part A is used. And finally, we need to find out flat formed head thickness where this connection is made. So, uh, part 1 is uh, calculation of uh, toryspherical heads. So, it is computed based on same method as we have explained in the last uh, example. Uh, so, for that purpose we need to calculate capital Ri and small Ri and then HE we can find out using uh, the method explained in previous example which comes out as 0.15 okay and following the table uh, 4.1a we can calculate value of c corresponding to he by d naught as 
2.015 and which comes as 2.016 and corresponding to this we can calculate thickness as 0.4156, 6% extra I have taken over here and then we can take that standard from table B1. So, in this way we calculate the thickness of torispherical heads. Now, main point over here is part B where I have to find out the maximum diameter of uncompensated opening for 2 is to 1 ellipsoidal heads where H e by D naught is 0 0.25 okay, of same thickness as computed in part A. So, this is the ex expression for ellipsoidal head the same we have used for torispherical head and thickness we have found out as 45 standard. So, here corresponding minimum thickness I have to put. So, once this T will be same it means C will also be same. So, C I am taking as 2.016 and H e by D naught comes as 0 0.25. How it comes as 0 0.25 because if you see torispherical head okay this is 2 and this is 1 ratio okay so if i am considering this particular section that should be 0 0.5 divided by 2 so it is 0 0.25 so corresponding to 0 0.25 he by d naught and c value i have to find out value of this expression so this is table 4.1e here it is uh, 0.25 and value is lying between 1.6 and 2.015. If you see value uh, 2.016 is lying between 2. So, while interpolating uh, value uh, of C, we can find out value of this expression between this which comes out as 2.9244 and here D would be uncompensated opening diameter which comes out as 0.94. So, in this way we calculate the maximum diameter of uncompensated opening. Part C is very simple that is flat formed head where C for this type of connection is uh, 0.45 D is equal to D i. How I can find this? Because how I can find this? It is D naught that is 2.5 minus 2 T s. T s we can uh, we have uh, observed we have found as 25 mm. Considering this value we can find out T as 130.45 mm and then I have to add 6 percent extra in this because it is form section. So, final value comes as 139 mm. So, that is uh, that is for example 2 and here I am having some of the books which you can refer to study this topic and now we have the summary of video and here I am combining summary of lecture 1, lecture 2 and lecture 3 as different type of heads used for pressure vessel are discussed, selection of these heads is discussed and design equation along with detailed method to design these heads are described and to design different head few a few worked example are illustrated with detailed solution and that's all for now thank you